Greetings, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Tommaso Cesati. I'm founder of uh, SC Node alongside with Pietro. So let me present first uh, the SC Node project briefly. Uh, we are an open source of information regarding the supply chain, uh, specifically on advanced digital topics regarding both manufacturing and logistics. Uh, our goal, let's say, is twofold. Uh, first is to create community and network of professionals and passionates to, of supply chain and specifically in topics uh, uh, like simulation, data analytics and digital twins. Uh, our second goal is to empower this network to share, uh, streamline and raise awareness over such important topics uh, to bring it to a broader audience that can potentially leverage such solutions. Uh, most of the times advanced technologies are not both clear uh, are not clear both in terms of what it takes to deploy them and the value they add uh, and they, they can bring it to the table. So this is why this project has started. Uh, the platform is open source, meaning that anyone that would like to contribute with his own perspective, experience or material is free to do so. And of course, it's completely free. Um, while the definition of digital twin is very, very broad, uh, to understand where our expertise lies, we can map the different types of digital twins in a matrix made of scopes, uh, which describe the main goal of the physical entity in the digital twin, and types, uh, which describe the main functionality of the digital twin. At SC Node, we focus in process simulative uh, and prospective digital twins, meaning that such solutions do not just monitor the entity of the uh, real time of the or predict the future state uh, based on historical data correlation, artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms, but they allow to test and verify the impact of any potential scenario, uh, a modification to the system. Basically, uh, this is done in a risk free what if environment. Uh, finally, uh, these methods overcome uh, machine learning black boxes limitations as the behavior of the replicated system is clearly shown and visible uh, over time, meaning that the digital twin can also prescribe each set of corrective action that would lead to achieve to uh, the target goal. Um, why are supply chain uh, digital twins relevant? Well, it is because, uh, of course, supply chains are far from being deterministic. Uh, impacts of decisions cannot be determined up front, and the fact that they are in constant evolution over time. Uh, a digital twin with a simulative approach allow to better understand and grant clearness over uh, the system behavior and how all these supply chain elements interact with each other. And this, of course, enables significant potential. So it is possible to study how to better analyze and synchronize uh, the behavior of well entities of the supply chain, estimate and mitigate events impact, analyze and discover potential bottlenecks, or estimate inefficiency and study uh, operational improvement opportunities. So typically, simulative digital twins are leveraged by two stakeholders, uh, could be both enterprises and policymakers whether they are single government or global associations. And the approach is, of course, uh, fully modular, meaning that depending on the need and the entity replicated, it's possible to answer an endless list of critical questions uh, regarding all assets and all nodes of the supply chain. Uh, for as focused or as broad, uh, the focus is simulative digital means uh, are fully scalable uh, from a single workstation tooling proce uh, optimization process up to a global uh, supply chain level uh, where competition trade policies and geopolitical events impacts can be studied. Okay, uh, so I will now hand over to Pietro for an example of uh, what we mean of uh, simulative digital twin. Thank you, Tommaso, and good morning, everyone. I will uh, dive into a brief case study on supply chain sustainability uh, demonstrating how digital twin technology can address growing challenges uh, in uh, business sustainable development, and particularly in light of the new European Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive and its associated reporting standards. So first, uh, uh, let's discuss how digital twins can be applied to sustainability strategy definition. Uh, digital twins are powerful tools for designing testing and prioritizing environmental sustainability initiatives. They work by processing raw data on transportation and production volumes mainly, 
which form the foundation for calculating the carbon footprint at company level. At their core, we build and test supply chain digital twins, starting with traditional performance metrics. And once we have, valid we have validated the model, we can enrich it with environmental data from major international sources and databases. This enables Digital Twin to surpass the capabilities of other sustainability tools and platforms by providing an holistic view of supply chain performance, specifically in relation to sustainability strategy, strategies and decision making. Now let's get to the case study. Uh, I hope you will see the model running uh, uh, here in the slide. Uh, we developed uh, a digital twin for a dairy supply chain in Italy, focusing on the objectives of enhancing a yogurt manufacturer's uh, sustainability performance while trying not to negatively affect uh, its financials. So to begin, uh, we created a base case digital twin to estimate the company's current carbon footprint and financial performance. And later on, in collaboration with the management, we assessed various sustainability alternatives, looking at areas like packaging, transportation, and the structuring of the distribution network. Uh, we created and tested three different scenarios, spanning in a five-year time period, and each representing potential sustainability strategies with varying impacts on the company structure. The simulations that you can see they are running in, in the video uh, revealed at the end that significant opportunities for emission reduction and cost saving could be achieved. One key action was the resizing of the distribution network for finished yogurt, which reduced the stock level and consequently minimized the volume of expired product at the final stage of the supply chain. The estimation provided clear targets and guidelines for the company's strategy in the following years, helping the management to select and prioritize the most effective sustainability measures while strengthening the financials. Uh, in a nutshell, the, the major results uh, led to a 10% reduction in the overall emission of company supply chain and a 5% increase in company IBDA mainly due to a cost reduction in logistics and distributions. So uh, in conclusion, uh, I would like to briefly touch on our future initiatives. Uh, we plan to expand our presence, both virtually and physically, by hosting thematic roundtables, by enriching the case study literature on our website, and by organizing educational events on simulation with companies and partners. We hope to see you at these events and encourage you to stay connected with us on LinkedIn and through our website. Thank you very much for your, for your attention. We will be happy to answer any question you may have. To SC Node, when considering sustainability objectives, the benefits often focus on carbon footprint and efficiency. Is there any scope in the supply chain digital twin to link with transport authorities measuring impact on road networks? For example, cost to maintain those networks and traffic flows? Yeah, this is a quite tough question. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's say we work uh, uh, basically on microeconomic level. So we focus just on a specific supply chain or uh, uh, on a specific company's, uh, let's say, environmental performance. So. When talking about the, the impact uh, that for sure exists on uh, the, the network, the infrastructure of, uh, of uh, a country, of, of an area, an industrial area, it's, it, it is very difficult to estimate what would be the quantitative uh, results of uh, um, sustainability decision uh, inside the company. For sure, what can be measured is the traffic congestion, like, for example, if we, we try to reduce the number of shipments or we are changing for, uh, uh, in favor of uh, intermodal transportation, we can measure what could be the impact on the actual infrastructure by reducing the, the volumes or by optimizing the volumes of the transportation volumes of our, of our company or the, the analyzed supply chain. 
So um, for what concerns the vehicles, we can roughly estimate what could be the, the impact. Uh, but uh, in case of uh, a huge uh, areas uh, where a lot of vehicles are considered, we need to scale up to a macroeconomic level uh, digital twin. So which is completely different for, uh, for what we have realized, uh, especially in, uh, in the case study. So it could be carefully managed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And that links partly to the next question, if I could, please, uh, which is what are the different standards you follow in supply chain digital twins? Yes. Yes, I, I can take that one. Uh, yes. yes, as Pietro was mentioning, uh, we usually focus on the uh, specific uh, simulation regarding one firm, one supply chain. Uh, so typically we go into very much detail. OK, so this means that it's all customized based on the uh, environment that we have. Uh, we have, of course, uh, a software to base our analysis, but we uh, usually don't follow any standards when it comes to uh, supply chain digital twin. A last question here, please, for SC Node, and that's probably what we'll have time for in the session, is supply chain data is often sensitive. How do you protect sensitive information? Yes, so uh, basically, uh, since Again, uh, we pretty much focus on uh, enterprise simulation. Uh, so we have uh, data that is um, relevant for the uh, single company. So it has to be protected from outside, of course. Uh, it really depends on the uh, action that we do. So if, uh, if we're talking about just a single simulation model, a digital shadow or a digital twin, it really depends on this. But eventually, uh, we set up uh, usually uh, servers or uh, cloud data storage uh, that are uh, company based, so uh, they are pretty much uh, protected by by the infrastructure of the company itself. 